What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Miss International Queen is officially going on. My skincare is done, so let's get into it. I'll try as much as possible to give you a full reaction to the show or at least the most important segments of the entire thing, such as the opening, swimsuit, evening gown, and of course the Q&A portion. Uh, I'm sorry about the informal kind of setup, but you know, I'm traveling at the moment, so I just want to give you guys content and keep you updated about everything while simultaneously making it convenient for myself. So I'm just going to get my grandma glasses and let's get into it. All right, here we go. This is the opening number. I'm expecting production because that's the one thing that Miss International Queen is known for. To Miss International Queen 2024. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing colorful balls going up and down. Lasers and what it looks like a futuristic set. All right, I'm just gonna turn down the volume a little bit because you know, copyright is quite heavy. But I love the fact that they're bringing their reigning queen to open the show. This is something that we have been seeing recently in pageantry. Uh, we saw it in Miss Grand, we saw it at Miss, um, Miss Supernational as well. And I actually love it because the girls get a little bit more of exposures during finals, although they're just about to pass their crown, right? This is quite nice. I'm not crazy though about the silhouette of this dress. It's a little ill-fitting, it's a little bit costumey, but I do get the vibe, okay? They're going for a futuristic, uh, chromatic type of vibe, very fierce, very elegant, and it kind of fits with the crystals in the background, right? And the message is all about, we got the power. I'm not crazy about, if you look at the dress, they have, it's not like a nude thing. It has like a, um, a fabric over here that is so ill-fitting that it makes her look like her arms are huge, which is a no-no. She'll be fitted to perfection, but you know, that's just me. Maybe I'm just too picky. Ooh. Oh, oh, the gag. Okay, so there was a reveal. That's why it wasn't perfectly fit because there was another outfit underneath. Okay, so I was not wrong, but in her, fa in fairness, there was a reason for the ill-fitting initial gown. And she looks incredible. Oh, bitch. Bitch! They brought the show. <laughs> they have her levitating like she's pink in a concert. Come on, girl. Oh, hell no. They ain't about to do all that with me if I was one of the reigning queens because girl, all that it takes is for one of them wires to give up and it's game over. Honestly, I'm just being dramatic, but I love this. I love the fact that they're willing to take risks. I love that they gave everything with the production. I, I love the fact that it's so playful, you know? And let's be honest, Miss International Queen is the biggest trans pageant in the world. The trans community is part of the LGBT and we know for a fact that us LGBT, we just love a good performance. We just love, you know, when you go to the club and you go to the scene, you really want to have, you know, these moments that are unforgettable on stage. And that's exactly what they're bringing here, but they're kind of elevating it to a whole new level 
to make it match the international standard of pageantry. So honestly, no complaints. Let me just check if this is the end. We have a little bit of an encore and the girls are coming out. So, oh, opening number. Hey, I see Miss Cataluna front and center. Okay, I just wonder, maybe if you guys know, please go ahead, let me know in the comment section down below. What is the theme for these outfits? Um, I mean, the dancers and the reigning queen were in this kind of like chromatic look, uh, silver, and now they're coming out in this like white skirts with colorful jackets that is just giving like clownish vibes. Not that they're trying to look like clowns. Not that, that's not what I'm saying, okay? Don't cancel me. What I'm saying is that is the color scheme is off a little bit for me. So anyways, um, let me see. Is there more from the girls? We got the power. Okay, introductions. What are we going into? Oh, more dancers. It's not over yet. Okay. Miss International Queen Brazil, Jessie Lira. Nice, she's so beautiful. One of the fan favorites. And you know, in fairness, I didn't get to follow Miss International Queen as much this year because I've just been doing so much at the same time. Um, so I didn't make any like hot picks or anything of the sorts, but I did have my eyes on a couple of them. I'll tell you as we go. Queen, Come on, Canada. Ooh, that's our girl. Very nice. Oh, Miss China is trying to dance for her life, but the dance is not collaborating. Colombia. Ooh, Colombia. Fierce. The waistline snatched as it should. <laughs> Come on, Ecuador. She reminds me of a former, was it also Miss Ecuador or Paraguay? El Salvador. El Salvador. Wow, beautiful. I love the red hair. Cute. Okay. Miss International Queen, India. India. Oh, okay. I think I get it now. I think they're wearing jackets with the colors of their countries, like their flags. Is that what it is? Oh my God, I'm kind of slow. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been working all day, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what it is. They're wearing their flag colors. So in fairness, props to... Um, Definitely props to Miss International Queen because most of the time they just get a standard thing for everyone. They took the time to personalize each and every single one of the jackets and that's what makes them the biggest and most reputable trans pageant in the world. It's the magic is in the little details, right? Oh, come on, Laos. Hey. Cute, I love the dancing. Malaysia, so fierce. Very snatched. Okay. Miss International Queen, Mexico. Romina Amador Tunis. Oh, 
Okay, Miss Mexico is beautiful. She's not giving me as much joy. Positive energy, smile girl. Is the opening number, you shall be happy. Same thing with Myanmar. Girl, put down the finger, this ain't grand. Oh, very nice energy from Miss Peru. Fierce, playful, and full of joy. So, you know what? Filipinas! Let's go, Sofia. One of the most beautiful in the batch. It has to be said, you know, it has to be said. Philippines. We love a Boricua. Okay. All right. Thailand, no pressure. The host country, she needs to perform. She needs to deliver. Gosh, she's so gorgeous. The body, the face. A little stiff, though. Miss Cataluna. I'm going to tell you now. She is my bias. I'm rooting for her to win. I love this girl. She's a performer. Uh, trailblazer. Everything. Venezuela, living up to the Miss Venezuela title. I mean, she, she looks the part. Vietnam also, I mean, they have to, oh, we have a little mug function here with the skirt, but Vietnamese have polished the look of their contestants so much. It's just incredible. There we go again with the winner. She's back on stage. Oh my God. If I could just go and fix the, the armpit zone of the, of the dress, I would, I promise I would. We got the power. Okay, so that was actually a very nice opening number. I love the fact that the production was very high value. I love the fact that the winner is there, that all of the contestants have their little jackets with the colors of the flag, very thoughtful. And I feel very bad about my comments saying that they look like clowns because it's just a bunch of random colors. I promise it makes sense. I get it, I get it now, okay? Um, what else? I mean, I love, they have the dancers, they have the lights, they have the uh, smoke coming from the sides. What else do you want? This is a great opening, in my opinion. I think that it sets a tone for the show that is very up-tempo, very high energy, and I hope that they're able to keep up that same energy going forward. So, let's continue watching and see if that was the case. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get officially into the evening gown competition for Miss International Queen. And from what I've been able to gather, it seems like all of the delegates, that's right, all of them will get to have their evening gown moment on stage, which I love, evening gown. Uh, it's one of the most intricate parts of a competition. It takes a lot of time and effort for the girls, but also for the designers that work around the clock to make sure that these garments are exquisite. So let's see what they have to offer and I'll give you my comments and opinions as we go. Gosh, this music. I have to turn down the volume, guys. I'm sorry, the music is copyrighted. Queen Olivia, 
Okay, the gun is actually quite simple. You know, the fact that it's a see-through gown and something that we have seen in pageantry, I can kind of see the panties from here, so that's perhaps not the greatest thing. She does look pretty though. Hmm. And oh my God, the, the platforms in this, oh, girl. Miss Brazil, I love this. Like, I adore this. It's a very pageant concept, okay? This is nothing new to pageantry, but she looks incredible. I love the design around the boobs, showing the decollete, and all of the lines going towards the center. Very nice. I just wish there was a little bit more of detail, more, a little bit more thought, in the lower part of the of the gown and of course maybe just have it like a little longer but the face card baby couldn't decline impossible it's given amanda dudamel but in yellow this is Amanda Dudamel in person. <laughs> she decided to come back, but with a yellow gown. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. I mean, there's not much going on in the face area. Simple walk. And to me, to be honest, at this point, the Amanda Dudamel concept is something that has been done over and over so often that there's no wow factor for me anymore. There's no surprise. I mean, nice pose at the end, for sure. Miss International Queen Canada, Adriana Fernandez. Come on, Adriana. Make us proud. Solid. This reminds me of something that Iliana Aduana in the Philippines has worn um, before. I do appreciate the design of it. With this like accent, this piece. Seems like a bow, but it's, an, it's not really a bow. Under the boob area. Kind of holds everything together, but also like it adds an interesting... Come on, China. Okay, so China, even with the speed effect, girl, the walk is not it. There's a lot of training to do when it comes to facial expressions, okay, presenting your emotions on stage, and of course on the walk, and just how she carries herself, how she showcases the gown. Let's not forget, evening gown is also about showcasing the work of the designer. You have to, you know, give it justice. Whoa. Drama. Drama mama. A good reveal. A nicely fitted gown. You know, silver gown. We've seen thousands of these at this point, but she does look beautiful. And I kind of forget who had also like a cape like this in their national competition or international. If you know, let me know down below in the comment section. Nice. Miss Ecuador. Hmm. Okay, this is not a killer gown. 
this would be my first choice for a couple of reasons, but I think that the biggest distraction for me is the center, the core of the gown, because it looks like they just ran out of, um, you know, what do you call this? I'm tired, I forget. Anyways, they ran out of golden material, and also the color in the corset does not match her skin color, so that should be something to consider. El Salvador, La Pelirroja. I think that red hair and blue looks good. And she has very fair skin, so it's kind of a nice combination. And look at the backdrop, everything matches her. <laughs> very well thought out. I don't know if it was planned though. Literally the song is, you don't have to try so hard. <laughs> They're giving you clues, girls. Just be a fortless. India is coming through with the performance. She has, she is trained, you can tell. Those are clean turns, nice walk. I love the styling of the hair. It's kind of like, um, it's modern, but it's also kind of giving me old school. So I, I like that, I appreciate that. So far, India has a very solid performance. Okay, I'm not mad. And the gown is very decent. Very decent, no complaints. Miss Indonesia is struggling with the stairs, we can tell. The gown might be too fitted at the bottom. She's struggling to walk a little bit. But in fairness, she does look incredible. The color though gets a little bit washed out with, you know, the lights and the backdrops. Um, but it's undeniably a beautiful dress. Which makes her look incredible. So, there's that. <laughs> Fears. Miss Japan. Mmm, nice. I don't know how I feel about the middle part. This cape thing, like the, the train, it's nice. And I love that it all plays with the same color palette when it comes to the dress. Lots of fringe movement, very dynamic dress, but I don't know about the middle part. I don't know about seeing the corset. You know, some things I don't want to see. Oh, Laos is coming through with a um, structured gown, colorful, clearly very well designed and very well executed. Craftsmanship is on point. No, the performance is not exactly the best though. I feel like there is need for more technical practice here. Practice, practice, practice. See how some of the facial expressions are a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit unnatural. Okay. She did study her poses though, <laughs> clearly. Oh, Malaysia. My favorite color is purple. Did she do this on purpose? Are you trying to get me to give you a good critique? Hmm? Do tell. Well, if that was the case, then it w you were successful because I love this. You know what I don't love though? The nude 
um, not the nude, but like the illusion for the silhouette with the black accent on the side. I feel like we have seen that way too much recently, especially with Krishna Gravides doing that at Miss Universe Philippines. And it's just been done over and over again. Again, I'm not a fan of trends that are a little bit burnt out at this point. Put it to rest, girl. Mexico. Okay, it's an okay performance and it's an okay gown for me. I'm not crazy about the bow in the shoulder. And the gown is nothing that I haven't seen before. So it's like, she looks pretty by all means, but I don't think this is giving me standout. Myanmar. Myanmar, struggling a little bit with the stairs. Okay, but look at those platforms. I don't blame her. Girls, just be mindful of the platforms. Why add so much? Beautiful gown. She looks pretty. I feel like the most of the work here needs to be done in the technical skills. Like, there's a lot of practice that is needed. Wow, I actually love this, <laughs> love the white gown. You see how sometimes you go against the grain, you take a risk, you bring out something unique that hasn't been done over and over again and it kind of pays off. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the shoulder piece, how it connects with the dress. There's a motif in the front and then just a white plain gown very well fitted, very flattering, with great styling and a very solid, very nice performance. You can tell that she is well trained. Peru, stand out. Oh yes. Come on Philippines! Okay, so I was actually seeing some spoilers on social media and people were saying that Sofia looks like a mix of Pia and Catriona and I couldn't agree more. Once I saw those comments, I couldn't unsee it. She looks incredible. I mean, I feel like look-wise, she's one of the most beautiful delegates in this year's edition. Um, the gown itself, to be honest though, the gown is not revolutionary. It's not like the most intricate or well-crafted gown that we have seen on the stage of Miss International Queen or even by a Filipina, but she does look incredible. So we have to give her that. Puerto Rico. Ooh, nice, nice design. Mm. There's something that I like about this dress. I guess that I really like the design in the upper part of it, how it's not just like straight lines and they took a little bit more of a risk with, you know, the shapes. But the bottom part of it is quite simple in my opinion. Hmm. It's a pretty dress. It's a pretty dress. Taiwan, Republic of China. I don't like this. I don't like this, I'm sorry, I don't like this. It's too simple, it's too... The contrast between the upper part and the lower part is too harsh for me. And the performance is not helping it. Sorry, Miss Taiwan. But it is a no from me. <laughs> oh, come on, Thailand. See? 
This is how you do it though. Like Miss Taiwan's dress was like the simple version of this. This is when you elevate it. Very elegant, very timeless. Black and silver, come on, you can never go wrong. With a nice pair of earrings, great poses, and a very smooth performance. Hmm, can't be mad at this. Very nice. It fits her so well. Gosh, I wonder if she can even breathe. Oh, Miss Carolina! Come on now. Oh, wow. You know what, actually, she looks beautiful. I love the hairstyling, I love the makeup, I love her presentation. I can tell that there is so much work, time and effort that was put into this gown, because look at all of those tones. But there is something off about it. I can't really put my finger on it. There's something off about it, but it's still an outstanding piece, if that makes sense. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, just let me know down below. I like, I like. Come on, Miss Venezuela. Very solid, yeah. You see, you see the, the effect when the fabric of the gown matches the skin tone, just blends everything seamlessly, right? Looks like it's a nude illusion. I like Vietnam. I like this already. In the upper body, we got very intricate design, attention to details, and you know, I, I wondered, I, I guess this took like a lot of time to get it together. And then the lower part, just like very nice flowy fabric, you know, adding so much movement. If it gets on the wind, it's so dramatic. And look at her. Perfection. Come on. Ooh, nice. Nice. I loved Vietnam. Who else did I love? I loved Peru. I loved Thailand. Okay, thanks God they're all coming back out so I can see them again. Okay, stand out. Brazil was solid. I just wish the lower part was better. Come on, show me all the girls. Okay, Thailand most definitely. I, I like Carolina. I like Miss USA. As I told you before all of this, she's my bias. I want her to win. There's something about the gown that I'm not 100% sold, but it's still a very nice gown. I would say like I'm... 95% sold about the gown. Hmm. Okay, so your turn. Go let me know what do you think about the evening gown segment of Miss International Queen. Who are your favorites? Do you agree with me with my comment, my feedback? I mean, I'm just giving you all of this as a first reaction. I haven't watched the show before, so I'm just, you know, rambling and talking as I go. All right, everyone. So now let's get into the swimsuit competition of Miss International Queen. This is the final show, so I'm really excited. Honestly, I'm very happy with the top 12, with the first cut of the show. I don't see any major upsets or things that I thought that were not unfair. I think that we are going into the top 12 with the strongest girls in the batch. So let's see how they performed and how they give us a show. So let's get into it. The rainbow way up high There's a land that I love 
Oh wait, I'll just put this on normal speed. Mm. Come on. Swimsuit has to be fun. Give me everything you got, girls. Brazil. Fierce. Beautiful legs. Let's see the performance. No problem with the stairs. Harsh turn. <laughs> and a fierce pose with a nice smile. Okay, girl. Nice. For the most part, it was okay. Just kind of a harsh turn. And the knees are bending when she's going up the stairs. I mean, they have to bend, but not in a straight way. Colombia. Oh, the stairs didn't even notice them. Okay. Solid, solid, solid performance. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, better than the first girl, than Miss Brazil. Yeah, the, the training is more formal here. Or at least she assimilated the, the lessons better. Oh, Miss Japan is coming through with a different walk. Even to go down the stairs. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the performance. Maybe she's just doing a little bit too much for my liking, but it's a trans pageant. Is there really anything such as, is there such a thing as too much? Miss Queen, Laos. Come on, Laos. Oh, 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 Laos is taking a risk with the slow walk and the turn and the long hair. Okay. Girl, to me, personally, she's relying way too much on the hair. Let's go Mexico. Clean, nice and smooth, but again, same comment as during the evening gown. I don't see the X factor here. It's just fine. Let's see Peru, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Lots of energy, she's always smiling, the hair looks beautiful. I was not crazy about the little jumps and the way that she's going up and down the stairs. I mean, she almost tripped, come on now. That's just my pet peeve. When the girls start doing too much, sometimes less is more. Philippines, let's see girls, show them how it's done. We know one thing about the girls in the Philippines, they're well trained. Look at that. Period. Hey. Nice. Clean. Fierce. Look at the eye contact. Playing with the camera. Going up the stairs. Effortlessly. Period. <laughs> Period. Nice, nice turn. I love, I love. Nice, Puerto Rico, no complaints. Nice. A. Hey. 
Miss Thailand. Mmm. 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 For a Thai girl, I would expect better performance than this. I like the concept, but the execution is not there. Oh, no, 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 girl. Oh, come on, Cataluna. Cataluna, girl. Oh, the way that she goes down the stairs. Oh, with the hips. Mm. Nice. Nice. I love this girl. I actually have an interview with her here on my channel. So if, if you have not watched that, Go and check it out. Back when she competed at Miss USA, though. Miss yeah. I mean, Miss Venezuela, honestly, she's everything. Like, I feel like I'm watching a girl from Miss Venezuela. Oh yeah, I'm sure she grew up watching Miss Venezuela. No doubt about it. Vietnam always beautiful, very demure, very considerate. I mean, I just love, I, actually I love everything about Vietnam. Now we're going to get into the Q&A portion of Miss International Queen. Of course, we already cut down to a top six, which I have right here. I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, uh, top six at the moment we have, ooh, maybe here, uh, we have Peru, Colombia, Philippines, Vietnam, USA, and Thailand. Honestly, um, the only one that I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not so sure is Thailand because of the performance during the swimsuit competition, I was not so sold about it, but everyone else, I think they deserve their spot during the uh, final top six round. Now, they will have a little bit of an interview or Q&A situation, so let's get into it and see how they perform. It is time for a question selection round. I hope you're all ready. So we are... Okay, first one is Colombia. Come on, girl. This is my favorite part. Q&A is life. Okay. Miss Columbia, you have chosen question number one. Question number one. I will read it twice and you have 30 seconds to answer. I'll read it twice. If you had the choice, would you rather be president or the first lady and why? Oh. Okay, let me say that again. President you or the, the choice, first lady? Would you rather be president or the first lady? And why? Miss Colombia, aquí está tu pregunta. Si tú tuvieras opciones, ¿no? ¿Qué preferirías ser la presidenta o la dama o la dama número uno del país? Good evening, everybody. Mm. Detrás de cada hombre siempre debe haber una gran mujer. Yo quiero ser el soporte, la ayuda, la que da cariño, la que en las noches de trasnocho apoya, la que siempre le dice que debe continuar. Yo quiero ser la que sostenga al hombre, la que sonría, la que diga buenos días y buenas noches, pero sobre todo la que diga que todo va a estar bien. 
she said that behind every man, there will be always the woman who supports the president. So she would be the one to help and to support and to give the affection to that person. So she would like to be the one who holds the man, the man that uh, she will smile and, say, and the one that say good morning, good night. And above all, to say that it doesn't matter if, if anything bad is going on. Thank you. No, no thank you. This was a trap question. It's a trap, my girl. They're asking you if you would rather be president or first lady. I think, well, two things. First of all, she did not answer the question. The question is, would you want to be president or first lady? She just said, I want to be the one to help. I want to be the one to say good morning. I want to be the one to say this and that. You have to say president or first lady. Pick a side and then you can justify your answer. But also, I feel like the answer that she answered I feel like the way that she addresses this question, she implied that being a president is a male position, as in like you cannot be a president as a trans woman, right? And I think that's where the trap was, right? She went immediately into, oh, because, you know, I'm a woman, I want to be in the position of the woman who is nurturing and helping and being there as a support system, rather than, you know, as a woman, as a trans woman, I can also be the president and I can lead and um, come up with change and, you know, and be the change that I want to be in the world. Whatever, you name it. I don't know. But I think, I don't know. I'm not happy with this. Fantastic. <sighs> Peru. All right. Peru, don't let me down, girl. Okay, Miss Peru, you have chosen question number four. Question number four. I'm gonna read it twice. Many countries now have marriage equality, and some even allow people to change their titles, like Mr., Mrs., or Miss. Do you think the fight for equality is over, or what do you think still needs to be done, and why? I'll read it again, I'll read it again, okay. Many countries now have marriage equality, and some even allow people to change their titles, like Mr., Mrs., or Miss. Do you think the fight for equality is over, or what do you think still needs to be done, and why? Good night, everyone. The fight for equality is going to be over the day that every single individual in this world have the same privilege. Mm. The fight is going to end when we going to sleep knowing that everyone has the same opportunities and we live in a happily ever after society. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that was actually quite an innocent answer in a happily ever after society. Very Disney of her. But you know what? I'm actually not mad at this. Very simple answer to a rather not complex question, but charged question, I would say. Um, so I appreciate the fact that she kept it simple, straight to the point, and ultimately extremely close to the core of the pageant. That's what Miss International Queen is all about. Equality, making sure that we are fighting and going forward in terms of rights and acceptance and just becoming um, integral parts of society, not being cast out, you know, but rather being part of society and just feeling like they belong. So, actually, you know what? Very, very solid. Thank you, Mr. All right, we have now Philippines. The fact that they had to come up with the gowns, go change for swimsuit, and then put back the gowns, not very practical, but... Miss Philippines, you have selected... Question number three. Question number three. I'll read it twice. What is the power within you that you think you want to pass on to the other people and why. I'll read that one more time. What is the power within you that you think you want to pass on to other people and why? Good question. I think something that I can pass to other people is my positivity as a person. I'm a challenge-driven person. I can encourage each and every one to think positively and to think optimistically because at the end of the day, 
After every darkness, we should always look at the bright side of every situation. Thank you. Miss Philippines. Okay. Good answer. I like the answer. I like the way that she justified it. I like the points. My only concern here is it does sound a little bit rehearsed though. So that takes away from the answer for me because it, it seems like it's something that she has prepared for so long and then she just came up with a little statement that she kind of, you know, had in the back of her mind already. Um, I like it when the girls are present in the moment and they just give me a genuinely heartfelt answer from their heart to their mouth. Come on, that's what I want. Not a bad answer though. I mean, like she did answer the question, delivered everything that was expected. Maybe just the way that she approached the question. I just, would, I just wish it felt a little bit more genuine and that's a very personal thing. I don't know, but still very solid Miss Philippines. Wonderful, thank you so much. Okay. Miss Thailand. All right. Miss Thailand has selected question number five. In some countries, trans women are allowed to compete the woman beauty pageant. Do you think that this helps promoting gender inclusivity? I'll read that one more time. In some countries, trans women are allowed to compete in the woman beauty pageant. Do you think that this helps promoting gender inclusivity? Thank you so much. I believe that everyone has to be respect each other and respect the role for the competition. If that organization around transgender to complete with the women, we have to respect and follow the rule and respect each other because we are a human. As a human, we have to see each other to be a human. Equality today is not for somebody, but equality today is for all. Thank you so much. Very nice. Very simple. Again, not perfect. There were some, you know, missteps in the delivery, but I feel like it's a genuine answer. And again, you know, something that I noticed here, I told you this about Miss Peru, I'm gonna tell you it now about Miss Thailand. I like the fact that they're just sticking to the core of the pageant. The equality, respect, acceptance, that's what it's all about at Miss International Queen. I don't think that they're looking for someone who will be able to give a revolutionary, never heard before, or super rehearsed answer. They just want basically someone who will represent the brand. That's what they do. This pageant is held during a pride festival, basically. So it's all about pride and community and acceptance. So to me, this is a really good answer for what is required of her. Okay, now we have Miss USA. Oh, she changed. Nice. Miss USA has selected question number six. Question number six. If you can get rid of only one attitude, belief, or value that you think is unnecessary, remove it from this world, what would that be and why? I'll read that one more time. If you can get rid of only one attitude, belief, or value that you think is unnecessary and remove it from this world, what would it be and why? There is a belief that we could remove from this world. It is the limitation that you have to be just one thing. As people, we are more than just one thing. I myself, as a fashion designer, as a survivor of physical, sexual, and mental abuse, I know I am able to stand, to rise to any occasion, because I am a woman with a diamond heart. That no matter how many struggles or how many times the mm. world might try to break me, I will always keep on shining. Oh, okay, Miss Caraluna. Powerful, powerful, powerful answer. Um, I like that she's talking about her own personal experience. I like that, you know, she kept it short yet very effective, but I can feel the nervousness. I can feel the nervousness through her answer. And maybe, as I told you earlier, I do have an interview with her here on this channel. So because I have had that one-on-one -on -one experience with her, I know that she's a very eloquent, smooth speaker. So it's almost like I can feel the nerves through 
the answer. So that takes away a little bit for me, but still very nice answer. Maybe I will just work on the, you know, the delivery with the nerves, how you carry that, right? And last but not least, we have Miss Vietnam. All right. Miss Vietnam has selected question number two. Though many qu countries have passed laws recognizing gender transition, meaning that many countries acknowledge trans women as women, what is your opinion on whether it is fair or not for trans athletes Ooh. to be allowed to compete in sports? Ooh, difficult question. Athletes. So I'll read that again. Though many countries have passed laws recognizing gender transition, meaning that many countries acknowledge trans women as women, what is your opinion on whether it is fair or not for trans athletes to be allowed to compete in sports with female athletes? Một vài quốc gia trên thế giới đã công nhận chuyển đổi giới tính của những trường hợp người chuyển giới. Bạn nghĩ sao về những trường hợp uh, người chuyển giới tham gia vào các bộ môn thể thao dành cho người phụ nữ? Thật ra tôi nghĩ rằng chúng tôi đều vẫn là người con gái, là một người phụ nữ, chúng tôi luôn luôn xem bản thân mình là một người phụ nữ phụ nữ. Chính vì vậy, tôi hoàn toàn xem việc um, người chuyển giới được tham gia các bộ môn uh, dành cho phụ nữ bởi vì họ đều trí óc của họ là người con gái và tất cả những gì mà họ coi mình là một người con gái. Chính vì vậy, tôi hoàn toàn đồng ý với việc này bởi vì chúng ta nên tôn trọng những người uh, chuyển giới và chúng ta nên tôn trọng suy nghĩ của họ. Xin cảm ơn. I do believe that transgender is not determined due to the transsexual surgery or not. I do believe that it is up to us that is the, who decide who we truly are. From the bottom of our heart, we are a woman. From our heart, from our brain, we are a woman. And that is the reason why I am supporting this 100% because we are all women. Thank you so much. I mean, as I said, this is a very complex question. I think it's something that to address in just 30 seconds is actually kind of like not fair for her to be given this type of questions. But my main concern here is that she didn't even make like a point, like an argument to defend why she supports it. Um, it's perfectly fine. I mean, like if you, if you think that you are for it or against it, Q&A, you can deliver how you want, but you need to have arguments to kind of like hold your position and be there solid whenever someone will challenge you about it. You need to have arguments. So I didn't get any in this particular answer. So for that, not my favorite, but girl, Vietnam always looks beautiful. So it is what it is. Let's get into the final Q&A round of Miss International Queen 2024. Top three, which is made of Miss Thailand, Miss Peru and Miss Vietnam. Um, they will all be giving the same question and they have to deliver. And this is basically what will determine who our next Miss International Queen will be. I'm so excited and I think so are you. So let's get right into it. Okay, I'm going to repeat this question twice. What is the most crucial force of transformation that forms you to be Miss International Queen 2024. One more time. Mm -hmm. What is the most crucial force of transformation that forms you to be Miss International Queen 2024? I just want to say, it's kind of a weird question. What is the most crucial force of transformation that forms you? Oh, weird, weird question. So I would say I am an empowering trans woman. I am standing here not only to get the crown, mm. but I am standing here for, for change. Change our community to be equal, not only LGBTQ community, but everyone, everyone that a human. When we cut our hand, we still have the same blood, the same uh -huh. color of blood. Cutting hands? Why we separate each other. We are a human, and I love to say everyone 
This is my town, and we have only one town, but we have all the 23 winners for around the world. I am standing here not only to be the winner, but I am standing here to represent of everyone that didn't have the voice. So today, I am so proud to stand here. Thank you so much for having me. Together, we can create the world where its frost of transformation is exist. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, you know what? I actually like the way that she answers. Um, her delivery is not perfect, granted, but her train of thought is pretty um, consistent. It's pretty clear. It's pretty straightforward. So I also appreciate that. Some contestants get overly complex with the Q&A and they want to do the most and it's kind of like, you know... Mm. She does give us some sentences sound a little bit more rehearsed than others, so I wouldn't doubt that she has been planning for this type of questions and what will she say in these type of scenarios. But ultimately, it's a healthy balance of, you know, kind of rehearsed and pageant party with more genuine and heartfelt aspects to the answer. So, overall, very solid. I'm not mad at this. Okay, Miss Peru now. Same question. This question twice for you. Transformation that forms you to be Miss International Queen 2024. Once again, what is the most crucial force of transformation that forms you to be Miss International Queen 2024? Mm. Not that. Five years ago, I get divorced because my husband didn't accept me as a woman was a really crucial moment of my life and I thought everything was about to end. I thought that I would never feel like a woman and nobody will give me that privilege. But the force of transformation begins when I accept myself and I love myself for who I am. I love myself for who we wanna be and that's what I wanna be the inspiration for all those little girls who think that at the end of the tour is not going to be a lie. Thank you. Winner, 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 winner. I love, I, I love this answer. I mean, I love that she started by talking about her experience before transitioning, you know, before when she was in a marriage with a guy, with a partner. And then when she decided that she wanted to transition to become a woman, um, or rather to look like the woman that she already was, uh, this person didn't accept her. So. I love that through her answer, she was able to present a reality in the trans community that sometimes is not so spoken about. And it's the struggle of finding a partner, someone that will embrace you and accept you as you are. So you have to kind of like very often go on that journey alone by yourself and find strength within yourself to become the person that you feel like you are. So to me, again, this is so on brand for Miss International Queen. This is to me the essence of the pageant. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's going home with the crown. No surprise. Okay, so let's go to Miss Vietnam. She's getting, of course, the same question. Crucial force of transformation that forms you to be Miss International Queen 2024. Mm. Miss International Queen ไฮเงินคงจําไฮมิตุอืมดําลึกด้วยนึกคิงเดอะโตยมุ้งเจอทันมิสอินเตอร์เนชั่นแนลควีนนอกจากนั้นล่ะมุ้งเจอเทเย
to shape the world and to transform the generation. Thank you. <sighs> okay. I like parts of it, certain parts I don't like. This is my problem with this type of question. And I told you in the beginning, I don't like this question. It's kind of weird because it gets too abstract. They're just using certain words like transform and everything just to kind of have a little nod to the fact that it's a trans pageant. But the question itself doesn't make much sense. So she's trying to add a bunch of terms and concepts and words that sound good, but don't really say anything when put together. It's kind of an empty answer that sounds really, really fancy. Towards the end, though, she did talk about education and inspiring others and, you know, uplifting the community and whatnot. So great. But I feel like 70 to like 80 percent of the answer was quite just like an empty statement. So I don't know if I have to choose right now the order for the winners. Vietnam, second runner up. Um, who else? Thailand, first runner up and Peru winner based on the Q&A. So let's see if that was the case. The Exciting. The second runner-up will receive 100,000 baht, trophy, sash, gift voucher from Patunam Polyclinic by Dr. Tim. It, it has to be Vietnam. It has to be Vietnam. And the second runner-up goes to... It has to be Vietnam. Get it right now. Vietnam. Miss Vietnam. Miss what? Why am I always right? Why am I always right? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Very cute, cute, cute. I'll just go forward because I'm quite, you know, curious about the outcome of this. See, the moment is here. Only two ladies who have a chance to wear the crown. Miss International Queen 2024. And this is a very important role. And should the new Miss International Queen be unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to both of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Miss International If it's queen based on performance, it should be Peru. But Thailand is the home country, so it shouldn't be... Miss Miss Peru. Let's go, Peru! I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Super, 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 super consistent since the beginning during the uh, evening gown presentation. I liked her performance during the swimsuit round. And remember, during the different two uh, interview rounds, so the Q&A and the interview round, she always spoke with a very uh, like heartfelt message while at the same time, really just focusing on the essence of the pageant. That's the secret. I Miss mean, International Queen deliver what they're looking for. It's not the most complex pageant in the world. They're simply promoting the message of inclusivity and equality for trans people. So, I love it. I love to see it. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Let's see her final walk. All right, so there you go, everyone. Peru has won Miss International Queen 2024. Please go ahead, let me know how do you feel about her victory in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my comments, my thoughts, my feedback, and all of the things that we talked about today? I'll be reading you in the comment section. All right, see you next time, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Love y'all.